Hello and welcome to No Sevens Dice Club. Uh, thank you for tuning in tonight uh, to uh, to my craps channel. Hello to all my new subscribers that have subscribed to me over the past two and a half weeks. It's been a pretty crazy two and a half weeks with Christmas and New Year's. I hope everybody had a great Christmas and New Year's. Um, I had to go to Christmas. I was down in uh, New Orleans visiting some some friends and family. Uh, if you guys live or, or ever come down to New Orleans or Biloxi to shoot craps, uh, just uh, hit me up, let me know, because um, I live in the area pretty much. And uh, I'll come down and, uh, and, and come down to the casinos. I preferably like um, the casinos in uh, Gulfport and Biloxi, but I will come out there and I'll play uh, a couple games with you um, and go over some strategies, see how you're doing, give you some pointers, see if there's something I can help you out with. Or if you just want to come out there and just play some craps out on the table, I'll come out and meet you. Just uh, hit me up on the comments or just uh, just email me at uh, no7sdiceclub at gmail.com and we'll meet up and shoot a couple rounds of craps. Uh, so this video, I'm going to do a, a new series uh, called Blood and Iron. Uh, it's the Iron Cross, and there's a couple of different ways uh, we're going to conquer that, uh, that strategy uh, than, than just the basic norm. Uh, we're going to spend about five weeks into it, and uh, probably go all the way till probably around the end of February. have a couple other strategies, so we're going to kind of dice it up a little bit throughout the weeks. Uh, but tonight, uh, before I kick off that series, there's something um, I wanted to do. Uh, first, and that was, I wanted to talk to you guys about the strategy I did back in October. It was a huge uh, success. It's what kind of helped launch my, uh, my, uh, my channel on the YouTube. So I want to do a follow-up. I received a lot of comments. Uh, some of them were very positive. Some of them were not so positive. And it was, I kind of took it as more of a challenge from the negative comments I received. Um, so we're going to do how to win 80 to 90% of the time at craps part two for the newbies. This strategy was de designed for the new players coming out, how to play the really, really ultra short game, how to build confidence. It was never designed to make a lot of money. And that's why I received a lot of comments about that. Uh, people uh, say, no sevens, you can't make any money off the strategy. You can't do anything with this strategy. So I'm gonna show you, you can make money. It all depends on how aggressive you are with your betting. But this was never about making money with the strategy. It was about building confidence as a new shooter. Because when you're shooting the dice for the first time and you got 12, 14 people at that table with money on that table, you're going to be nervous. You're going to have to shakes. You're going to be sweating. I mean, your fingers are going to be cl uh, clammy and, uh, and sticky. Trust me, I've been there. I know what it's like. It's pretty nerve wracking, especially when you have, you look down the table and there's a guy that has over $600 sitting on a table and you're the shooter and this is the first time you shot. So we're gonna, we're gonna uh, do a challenge series. I'm gonna shoot the dice. I'm gonna show you how I shoot um, the dice and see if I can get past, um, past the probability. And then we're gonna do uh, five random, five of me shooting, and we're gonna compare the difference. And the only thing we're gonna do is we're only gonna shoot the dice two times for the random, three times for me, and we're gonna see how we do. Uh, and then we're gonna pull down our bets. Real simple. Super, super short game. It's how we're going to play this game. And this is going to be part two. This is going to be a challenge series to see if it really does work. Uh, because a lot of people were saying, no sevens, you're full. And you're, you're full bold. There's no way in the world this actually works on the casino table. Well, this is a 12-foot casino table that I shoot my videos on. It's the actual thing. So let's go ahead and break it down. Let's go ahead and, uh, and see if we can do it. So some of the people wanted to see chips. So this is $310 in the chip rack and it's $310 on the, uh, on adding machine. So let's go ahead, establish a point. We're going to play on a $5 table and we're going to see if this actually works. If the probabilities of winning 80 to 90% of the time, I'm not going to reshoot this video a whole bunch of times. So this is it. If I fail, I fail. So we're going to actually find out if the laws of probability are actually going to be on our favor, which they should be mathematically or if it's gonna be on the casino side. So let's go ahead and get this game started. So we're gonna set up $5 for the pass line. Slide that on down. And then we're gonna do a dollar crap check because we always do dollar crap checks to hedge the bet. So we're gonna do a dollar. So right now 
we're at minus six dollars and let's roll the dice these are the bigger dice uh, that some of the casinos use so we're going to use the bigger dice these are the heavier ones these are the uh uh, the 9.8 grand dice that the casinos use. So let's roll them and see what we do. So we got the 6, 2, so that's the 8. So we're going to use the red numbers and mark the 8. So we're going to mark the 8. See if I can turn this around for us. All right, so we're going to mark the 8. Points can be an 8. And then we are going to tell the dealer to go... 27 across, 26 across. So here we go. So we're going to go five, four, six, nine. Actually, let's just do 32 across. That way we can get everything covered. And, uh, and if it works out for us, because we're only going to be here for two times. So two rolls of the dice and we're going to pull down our bets. So 32 across. You can reduce this down to 26, 27, uh, depending on where that point marker is. But we're just going to do it 32 across and just see how we do. Here we go. All right, so that's the 5-1. That's the 6. So we are going to collect our $7. And it's been a while since I, since I played craps. I, I'm going almost two weeks without playing craps at the casino. So I'm a little rusty, guys. So you might have to work with me a little bit, even though I've done this numerous years and... And plenty of times I'm going to be a little out of sync in this video. So I apologize in advance if I mess up somewhere. Just don't hate me too much on my comments. So, all right. So we are going to collect $7. That's going to go on a rack. We're going to add the $7. And so we got to subtract the 32. So we're at $279 is where we're at in our chip rack. And then we're going to add the $6. So that's $279. So we're going to put that in our chip rack. And we mark the six. All right, here we go. Another point. All right, the one, one. That's the two. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that's the two. So we don't get paid for that. So, and what we will do right now, it's totally up to you. We roll twice, we can pull down our bets, or we can try it again. Let's try it again, see if we can get another number. So that's the two, two, that's the hard four. So right here, this is how, for the newbies, this isn't for people who've been shooting all the time. And that's what I, I try to explain to the people in the comments. So we are going to go here. We collect, um, we collect $9. So we're going to take the $9. And we're going to put this in our rack. So we're going to add $9. So we're at $288 is where we're at right now. All right. And then we're going to look at the dealer and we're going to say, pull down our bets. So we're going to collect the $32. So plus 32 equals $320. And we don't have the crap check up. So, so right now we're at $320. We didn't make a lot of money, but this is just to get us kind of a feel for the game and how we're doing. All right. So that was the first session. So let's do the second session. So we're, uh, um, we keep on rolling. Our bets are down. We finally seven out. <clears throat> All right. Second session. Here we go. So the point marker is going to come off. We're going to just leave the 32 across right now. We are going to subtract it in a second from the adding machine. So let's establish a point, but we're going to add a dollar crap check. So minus a dollar. So it's 319. Actually, hold on. moving ahead of myself. So that's the five, two. So that's the seven. So we have a come out seven. And I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I will move that into view for you guys. So that is to come out seven. So we are going to collect on the $5. So we're going to collect $5 equals $324. But we got to subtract a dollar. So we're going to give them $5, but we're going to take a dollar away for the crap check. So minus a dollar equals $323. All right. So that's the six, four, that's the 10. So we're going to mark the 10 and I'm going to try to speed this up for you guys. So that way you can see it. And then when I throw the dice, I'm not even going to, uh, even to be bet. I'm just going to show you that you can do it as, as a shooter. This is only for you guys to see this the first five times. All right. So we got the six, four. So we're going to subtract $32 equals $291 is where we're at right now. All right. 
So that's the one, two, two, one. That is the three. So we don't get paid off of that. So let's see if we can do this again. That's the three, one, that's the four. So we do get paid on the four and that's $9. So we're gonna collect $9. We're gonna drop the dealer dollar. He's gonna hand us two red chips. That's gonna go in a rack. So plus nine equals 300. All right. That's the six, three, that's the nine. So right here, voila, we're gonna collect $7. So that's 307. So 307. It's gonna go in our rack. And then we're gonna tell the dealer, you got it, bring our bets down. Because we're newbies, we're just, we're just trying to get this done. So, and we're just gonna keep on practice rolling while we have our pass line bet. And this is gonna build up, we don't have any money, we already made our money. So we're gonna add $32. Is three hundred and thirty nine dollars. So, and we're going to keep on rolling the dice. We have our pass line bet, so we're going to try to hit the ten if we can. And if we have, um, if we're at a bonus craps table, we have money on ATS bets. So it's not like we're not rolling and making money and having a chance to make money. We have a chance to make money on the pass line. And if we had bonus craps, we had the ATS bets that we can make money on also. So we're going to. We're going to uh, turn this off. We're going to try for the third session and see how we do. So we're we rolled, we hit the ATS, we hit whatever. We rolled 90 times, 150 times, whatever. Feeling pretty confident. We're going up for the third time. So let's go ahead. Uh, I didn't subtract the $5 for the pass line a second time. Let's go ahead and subtract it. So that way we're at $334. So we're going to go ahead and subtract $6 this time. $5 for the pass line, $1 for the crap check. So we're going to subtract $2 off of this, off the rack. So we're at $328 is where we're at right now. So $328, roll the point, $549. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I'll bring that into view for you guys in a second. We're going to subtract $32. We're at 296. All right, so 296 is where we're at. Let's, uh, we did 32, so all right, let's see what we get. There, there's the three one, so that's the four. So we're gonna mark the four. And then we're gonna add $9. So try to drop a dollar, give back two reds. We're at 305 right now. So one more, one more hit on the inside, and that's that's it, guys. We're we're already done with our game. So that's the five three. That's the eight. Ooh, that was a little close. That was a little close. All right. So that's the five three. So that's the eight. And if you guys are feeling pretty confident in your throws, you can go to third session if you want to. It uh, you can go, you can you can throw it one more time and see how you do. It's just totally up to you. So we're gonna add seven dollars. It's three hundred and twelve. So as you can see, we're slowly building up, but this isn't about making money. This is about, this is about building confidence. So you're gonna pull your bets down and you're gonna practice on that casino table with no money except for your pass line. And you're gonna keep on rolling. You're gonna see where your landing zone is, see what's helping you, understanding where you're hitting and where you're not hitting, understanding how it's bouncing off the back wall and everything else. So that's three sessions we did flawlessly we had no problems hitting it twice so we're going to turn this off we're going to bring this here we're going to add 32 dollars back in our rack so we're at 344 dollars so we kept on rolling hit the ats bets again and um so we're going to subtract six dollars so six dollars and a dollar for the crap check and then we are at 338 dollars and we're going to roll and see what numbers we get so that's the three, two, that's the five. So the point marker is gonna to go to the five. And then we're gonna find a five. All right, so the point marker is a five. Here we go, so we're gonna subtract $32. So we're at 306. We started out at 310, that's the seven. Laws of probability right there. So we hit the seven. So we lost $32. That's what happens being a newbie, but we were, we're, we're on track, so that was the fourth time. So we have one more time and see how we do. So we're gonna subtract $6. We're at $300, all right. 
So we have the crap track up. We have the uh, the uh, the pass line back up, and we're going to roll. Let's establish another point. So that's the six one. That's the seven. I'll bring that into view for you guys because I don't know if you guys can see it from the camera. So that's the six one seven. So we made five dollars, but we got to track for the uh, the uh, the crap check. So we uh, we made four dollars. So we're going to add four dollars equals three hundred and four. All right, here we go. We're starting to get on that seven street six six five. That's eleven. So we're going to make another four dollars. So we're at three hundred and eight dollars. 308 all right slowly climbing back up there just it's a long way to the to uh, to get back that 32 dollars. but hey look we'll we'll take it any which way we can so that's the 527 so as you can see we're not shooting that well anymore but we're still trying to establish a point so we made another four dollars so we're at 312 dollars so we're gonna drop one more all right. Uh, six, five, eleven again. All right. I don't think I have any more red ones, so I'm just going to use the blue numbers. So we hit the eleven again. So we're going to win another four dollars, and everything's going to stay the same. And of course, if we have ATS bets, all that changes. It all depends. So, but we made another four dollars, so we're at three hundred and sixteen dollars. Well, this is a good way to to, uh, to to prove that you can make money, even though you're trying to establish a point. So that's the six four. That's the ten. So we established a point. So that's the ten. I don't have any more red ones, so I'm just going to do this for right now. So we're at the ten. All right. So we're going to go thirty two across. So we're at 284. All right. So that's the 6410. Perfect. So we've hit on the pass line and we hit on a 10. This is what you want. This is the reason why you can you can do the 32 across playing the ultra short game. So we're gonna add nine dollars plus five dollars equals two hundred and ninety-eight dollars is where we're at. So let's go ahead and mark it. So we'll hit the, the 10. And we'll mark it if I can find a zero. All right, here we go. So we hit the 10. So the point marker is going to come off. We are going to subtract the dollar for the crap check. So this is going to come here. And we're at 297 right now in our chip rack. It's right where we stand, 297. All right, so that's a 6-4. That's a 10 again. Well, that's a good thing. I got plenty of ones and zeros right now. All right. So the 10 again. All right. All righty, guys. So the 10. And the only thing we're looking for is just one more point, and we're going to pull down. The 2. Well, maybe not yet. So we hit the 2. Does not hurt us. Does not help us. Helps us for the ATS bets. The 3, 1, 4. Perfect. That's what you want. So... Exactly. All right. So we completed our fifth session. We hit the three one. That's the four. We're going to pull down our bets. We're going to collect nine dollars. We're going to drop the dealer a dollar. We're going to collect two reds. And that's going to go in a rack. And we're going to add that to our, our chip count. So plus nine dollars is three oh six plus the thirty two dollars equals three hundred and thirty eight dollars. Even though we seven out early on the second on the fourth series on the fifth series we came back hit a lot of sevens eleven seven eleven before we established the point and um we hit the 10 we hit the pass line again we hit the point marker and we hit the uh the four so we were at 344 dollars i think we're back at 338 dollars so we won 90 percent of our uh of our short game just like that so that was the random I'm going to roll the dice. I'm going to shoot the dice um, five different sessions and show you that it can be done even on, 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 a, on a person that's setting the dice and show you. So let's go ahead and uh, set the dice. So right now in our rack, we're going to take home, and we can play this forever. I mean, it just depends on how long. You guys can sit there and start building tier credits um, at the casino. 
playing a short game like this and you can play this for the next three or four hours as you can see you're slowly making money and you're not really losing a lot of money unless you seven out really fast but we won 90 percent of the times we, we did five sessions made money all this is going in our rack we had 300 we started out at 310 dollars we're at 340 right now roughly so not a lot of money but we're learning the table we're learning the understanding of the terminology and this is for new shooters this isn't for us uh for the the experts the the, uh, the people who know how to play dice this is for people learning the table or just say you didn't even this is the first time you're walking up to this table you don't even know what this table is you don't know if it's bouncy if it's ultra hard if there's a slate underneath if it has a trampoline underneath this is a great way to figure out that table so your first session you can play the ultra short game even for experts you can play that ultra short game two rolls of the dice pull your bets down and just keep on rolling find that sweet spot in your dice for your dice combination against that back wall so that way in your second session you come back and just crush it and you can sit there and put your bets up for seven eight rolls and just knock it out the park your second session that's a really good way to do it um but enough of me ranting let's go ahead i got my other dice so we're going to roll we're going to i'm going to shoot the dice for you and i'm, I'm not going to set them um I'm, I'm just going to pull them into view and we're going to look at them from there so let's go ahead and uh and shoot some dice and see how we do let me get these out the way so we uh we're right now we're at the casino we we made you know thirty dollars but let's go ahead and see how a person does this and we'll, we'll shoot the dice so and i'll pull them into view once when they set against the back wall so we're going to use the smaller dice the ones that are normally at the casino these are the smaller dice um i think these are the 8.9 grand dice they're clear so the difference between the two and the way you can tell the difference between the bigger dice and the heavier dice is these are clear i don't know if you can see it or not but you see how clear they are and these the bigger dice are always smoky that's how you can always tell the difference smoky dice are usually going to be the heavier dice and if you don't practice with heavier dice and um and when you go to a casino that has the heavier dice you're going to notice the weight difference i mean i can feel the weight difference right now so just something to keep aware of casinos use about 90 percent of these the smaller dice but sometimes they'll mess you up and go to the bigger dice on the weekends to trip people up something to keep in mind so let's go ahead and roll and see how see how i do see how no sevens does so let's go ahead and let's set them really quick and i'm just going to toss them all right here we go guys as long as i don't drop my microphone i'll be all right I'll get that ad machine out the way all right so that was the five six so that's the 11 so that's your first one all right and let's see what we can do for the second one right like i like i'm not going to play the game because we already showed you how it was done i'm just showing you how you know i can shoot the dice twice and not hit a seven you know this the probabilities are in our favor so that's the four one five so i'll bring that into view so there we go so that's the four one five so that's that's one session right there let's see if we can do this again all right here we go dice out and I'm, I'm not really setting these i'm kind of just rushing myself so that can also be another thing too normally when i shoot the dice I usually take my time i line up my shot and everything else i'm kind of rushing this for the video so oop, the five three there you go so that's the second that's the first one of the second series all right and here we go dice out again we're going to try this again that's the six four so I know it's hitting my back wall and you guys can't really see but i'm going to bring them into view i'm not moving these dice at all I'm trying to 
show you guys. So that's that's two sessions. All right. And now we're going to go to the bigger dice. I'm missing one dice, so I'm going to have to grab those in a second. All right, six. Four. All right. And I'm rushing myself trying to hurry. So, all right. Because I had people saying that no sevens, you can't do this on the craps table. Well, I'm proving to you right now that you can. So that's the five, three, that's the eight. Like I tell you guys all the time, I hit inside numbers all the time. And this is the reason why. Um, because I like, I like the inside. I'll show you my strategy for the 66 inside. That's how I play at the casino. It's my favorite strategy. It's how I make lots of money really fast. So that's the 639. This is the third session already completed. So like that, 639, the 53, the 64, the 53. Are you seeing my pattern here? The 41, the 5, the 11. You see all my inside numbers. This is how I shoot. All right. So that's the, that was the third session. So. All right, here we go again. Going for the fourth session. Five, two, seven. So right there, four session, just like on the, on the random shooter, we seven out. So even though that'll probably be a come out seven, but we're just gonna call it. So that the fourth session I failed. So maybe I should just take my time and not rush my shot. This is me rushing, not setting a dice or anything else. Normally I take about two seconds to line up my shot in my landing zone, but I'm just rushing right now for you guys. Six, three, nine. Did not hit the back wall, so I probably will be fussed at at the casino for not hitting the back wall. So that's on the fifth, set, fifth session, that's the uh, six, three. So let's do one more and see if we can complete this challenge. All right, here we go. All the pressure's on, bases are loaded. Bottom of the ninth inning, World Series. Here we go. Four, one, five, no pressure, guys, no pressure. Wasn't sweating at all. I was shaking in my shoes so much, you could probably hear my, hear my teeth chatter. So there we go. So we won on the first session, we won on the second session, we won on the third session, we lost on the fourth session, and we won on the fifth session. So with that, we were 90% win for the control shooter and we were 90% win for the random shooter. And like I said, this isn't for the people that can shoot all the time. If you can shoot all the time and do really well at the casino and you know your table, then, then play your game however you want to. But if you're walking up to a casino for the first time, even if you are a control shooter and you've been playing this game for 10, 20 years, and you're not sure with that table, Play the short game for your first time, get the feel of the table. Because once when you pull down your money, you have your pass line you're playing for, and the bonus grabs, the ATS bets. So that's a great way to play. And then you're, you're finding your sweet spot, so that way when it's your session next, you can know, all right, well I'm hitting a little bit beyond the pass line, it's bumping into the dice, it's not double pitching, it's staying on access, this is what I want. You know, all those little details that you're looking for, are the, are the dice, uh, you know, going through at the same time? Are they traveling at the same pace? Are they bouncing at the same time? Are they staying on axis? Is one staying off axis? All the different things while you have no money on the table except for the pass line. And that's what you got to look at, guys. You got to play smart at the craps table. You got to understand your strengths and your weaknesses when you're playing at that table. So I hope you enjoyed the challenge series. Um, like I said, next week I have, or this coming Thursday, I have the new series called Blood and Iron. It's going to be about the Iron Cross. We're going to do the Iron Cross. We're going to do the Steel Cross. I have one called the Iron Maiden. I play the Iron Maiden sometimes at the casino, make a lot of money off of it. I hope you guys do really well with the Iron Maiden. And then I have a couple other different variations of the Iron Cross. Like I said, it's going to last us till March. So I hope you guys enjoy the different strategies. And then after that, I got a couple of viewers who sent me in their strategies. I can't wait to dissect them, go over them with you. And hopefully you guys enjoy them as well as I do. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you like this challenge series. I hope it helped you out a little bit. And uh, like always, thank you for tuning in to No Sevens. And I'm always here. If you got any questions, please feel free to 
hit me up. But other than that, I will talk to you guys on Thursday. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye.